Grace International School began with a dream. A decade before Grace became a reality, the dream of a school which would serve the missions community in Asia began to stir within my wife and my heart. These dreams were fueled by stories of missionaries who felt they had to leave the mission field and return to their home countries due to lack of quality educational options for their children. In the early 1990s, there were over 2,500 missionaries in Chiang Mai. With missionary attrition rates nearing 100%, Gene Fultz, chairman of New Tribes Mission, commissioned a study that showed that the lack of quality educational opportunities was one of the main causes for missionaries leaving the field. Clearly, there was an urgent need for a school to serve this community. Gene, his wife Sherry, and their children were serving as missionaries in Chiang Mai, Thailand when God first began to spark Gene's imagination with the vision of what would later become Grace International School. In 1998, Gene established a board of directors represented by 12 mission organizations who had significant presence in Thailand. The newly formed board regularly met to pray and plan for the opening of a school. Through these meetings and God's provision, the school soon began to take shape. Prayer was an integral part of the founding of Grace. We wanted Grace to be Christ-centered to the core, not just to provide a quality education, but one in which Christ is integrated in everything from athletics and music to math and history. In order to keep the tuition low for families, we took a leap of faith as a board to ask each of the teachers and administrators to raise their own support so that we could give an affordable education to missionaries and nonprofit workers. One of the largest hurdles in the founding of Grace International School was the need for a permanent location. In May 1999, three months before Grace was scheduled to begin, the Lord opened the door for them to rent the neighborhood athletic club in a gated community called World Club Land. It was hard for Gene and the board to know, then, what a blessing this facility would be for thousands of future students over the next 17 years. I was chairman of the board at the time when someone brought me a piece of paper saying, uh, turn over the uh, administration of the sports club to us by the end of the month or we will take you to court. I didn't know what to do but get on my face before the Lord and say, God, this is too big for me. And so, um, sure enough, we turned it all over to Him and He has helped us get through this. After years of losses and appeals, Grace was ordered to vacate the property and pay to restore the facilities to its original condition. Additionally, Grace would not be compensated for the original purchase price of the complex. Once again, Grace International School found itself without a campus. However, as God has done many times before, He again demonstrated that what we may see as the closing of doors is actually the opening of brand new doors. Looking at our new home on the new campus, it's amazing to see how far God has brought us. We have gone from a small house in the 1990s to this incredible campus surrounded by rice fields. It's just beautiful. The Ministry of Grace International School over the years has allowed thousands of families to live and serve in Asia. In 1999, Grace served 172 students, representing dozens of missions organizations and nationalities. The parents of students at Grace are serving in countries all over the region. 20 years later, Grace serves 665 students, of which 90% are missionary kids from 326 families. These families are from 20 nations and serve in 30 countries, reaching out to millions of people. The history of Grace is God's story of provision and faithfulness to His children. Looking back, we can see how each strand of the story has impacted missions in Asia. Because of Grace, a harvest of unity has been sown among ministries in Chiang Mai and countless people have grown deeper in their faith. Additionally, thousands of students have been taught by example to love God with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength. As a result, many people all over Asia have heard the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ.